Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Union of Numai Triple Crown for the Lowlands. Where we need to get the Russian. This thing down. Revolts in Russia is currently at a minus six. Yeah, <laughs> I think we need to get like it to zero. So we can get ten from that. Siege of Kalulagrad. Smonks. You guys are fine. Actually, you guys have reinforced fine as well. That's Brazil, and it's unseaged. So are you still at war with Russia? Yeah, you are, but it's been unseaged. Um. Come like that then, guys. Keep getting some more sieges done. The tiniest of tiny armies just have to be brought back into my land. You attach. Do I want to be doing this? Do you guys know? Come back here. Don't want to send any more troops over to that front because I'm just grinding away manpower. You arrived, you have good. Attach, attach, attach. Jump out into the water. We'll hopefully be able to wait with you until like Gulf of Zimbabwe is there. I really think we're just gonna uh, gonna be able to look at all them stupid things. He didn't pick up all of them. He just picked up the... What did you pick up? Alright. That's a siege, yeah. And you... That's a siege as well. Military force in Kotsdam is under siege. Only with a two stack though, so let's split you in half and move you on there. Oh, oh no, sorry, the Prussians are coming. The Prussians are coming, the Prussians are coming. So actually one of you march down there. Try and get south, where it's warmer. Head to warmth. How are you guys looking? Terrible, I'm guessing. Actually, come all the way back home. Right into the Netherlands proper. We've just been attritioned out. I'm surprised that we've managed to fight this war. And hire a new military leader. Conquistador. A very, very fast guy. You know, if I was still fighting them bits here where he's trying to capture them, that would be useful, but... Their armies have disappeared again. In fact, actually, I'm curious. Now, there's still a good 70,000. I'm guessing the majority of that is Russian. In fact, military armies. Total. France now has the largest army in the world because <laughs> the, the Dutch, the Prussians, and the Brazilian armies, the other three large ones, have grinded themselves up against the other large one, Russia. Curious if we had a look at like man, uh, which force limits, because this is what like the largest armies could be. Be us in Russia. France has a tiny force limit. In fact, they're over it by a good chunk. New Amsterdam's it's like half of France. And Prussia's well over their force limits. I'm surprised how low the force limits are, because I'm used to the armies being bigger, and we have like a, what are, seem to be like a good number of blobs or large blobs in this campaign, so I would have thought the force limits would have been higher. But again, it might be because it's late in the game, I'm more used to E3 than 4. I go there, you guys come back and pick up what's left here. Should be more than enough to siege that out. Bulgaria is going to be fully occupied. 99%. How long till Bulgas falls? 35. And just at a guess, 
This is a imperialism war. Yeah, so you can take almost everything, or well, basically everything you want. And Serbia's involved. That might stop you getting to 100%. <laughs> they are occupied, so it really shouldn't count, but it might stop you. You guys arriving. Attached to transport. No, don't attach it to the tiny insignificant boats. Attach them to the big boats. I can fit 40 there. There is not 40. There. So if you're already moving out and I tell you to attach a transport and then move these, you'll pick them up. Clever AI. Clever. Yeah, clever AI is clever. When did Great Britain get all of this? Why would there be two different routes? Fuck it, it's a race! One's in a tri- <laughs> Why would you take that? Oh, I wish. Right, click and hold to bring up a contextual menu. Get there as quick as you can. Get there smartly. Get there taking as little attrition as possible. <gasps> oh, Croatia! <laughs> yes! Croatia took so much land from the Pope! Croatia is a major power in Greece. Croatia is Catholic, which I quite like, because everything over there has been um, Islamic. So I'm sort of glad that it's Catholic, because that gives a, you know, an actual Catholic power over in the Yugoslav area. How's Prussia look, uh, Russia looking? Revolts in Russia have gone down. War exhaustion has gone up. Occupied and received provinces hasn't really changed. Okay, that's when battles won. We are heading out. You guys are all just heading for reinforcements. Yep, good. So let's slog this out then with the Russians. Brazil is sieging things up. You finished, you're at zero percent. Archangel. No, we just take too much attrition by doing that. Come down here. Head south. Head south. <laughs> Head for the warmth, please. Don't die. Kursk has fought. Oh no, we've arrived in Kursk. And we've taken that much attrition by arriving in Kursk. We cannot siege Kursk. Which we should be able to do, unless it's a level 2 fort. Yeah, it is. Screw it. Hold on to now. You never know. The, um, you guys might come in and help. And he's arriving. Not maxed out on points yet. Russian war exhaustion is currently at 4.68. I want to see when the month ticks. That's a huge revolt. For the, oh, for the army that I left there anyway. I, say, I know I said it was a race, but you come back here. We're going to have to ferry troops. Unless 2,000 can fight them. Come on, 2,000. You can do it. No, complete eradication. Okay. <laughs> You're revolting against the English? I I I'll do you a deal. Give me the siege. Give me control of it. And afterwards, I will force them to do whatever it is you wanted them to do. 35, 7, 7, 21. Come on. Siege, siege. An Irish Revolution. 
I know you're Protestant and you're a merchant republic. I'm hoping that means you might go to... Okay, start bobbing around around here. But what I'm going to do is try to send you all to slightly different places. So that the supply limit, you know, it works out nicely. Too many diplomatic relations? Yeah, I forgot about them, didn't I? Cancel and cancel because you didn't care. The Russians didn't care. Alright, super peace in general actually now, just curious. Oh, we can't, we have a diplomat. Wait 20 days. Although, I think it's going up by 0.2 a month. So that's like five months for a 0.1 reduction in this. The length of war is going to be ticking down quicker than that, I'd fear. Look how much Russia is, Prussia has sieged up as well, though. And Oriat. <laughs> isn't doing as well. I'm sure Russia is actually focusing on the Ariat Horde. Or at least they may be focusing on us all equally, uh, which the Aria isn't an equal equal threat. So, you know, them focusing on them equally is sort of making it more like they're focusing directly on them. Well, sieges are falling. Or at forty percent, it might end up being, but it's going to be e instead of white piecing out Russia, it's going to be easier getting the Great British up to forty percent. Well, we're minus eighty-one reasons for this. A hundred of that is demands exceed war score. That does start diminishing once we get closer. I, think... I was going to say you half. You know, once we're at like half of what it actually would be. But that doesn't seem to be the case because it would already have that ticking down. And Russia is 15. Oh no, you're 15 with me giving... Clear offer. If I gave you Gujarat, you'd say yes. Screw it, I don't need to be at war with Russia. Thank you, Russia. It's been effing horrible. Guys, come home. <laughs> How are these armies even still alive? <laughs> They're literally at zero. Oh, God. And uh, now Great Britain. We have no diplomat. We have to wait five days. You would now accept my very generous offer. Why would I make him release nations when I'm about to vassalize them? Yeah, there's nothing there. Just send the demands. Now, some of these I don't actually have cars on, do I? No. So once we get... Once a month, even. Uh, we're going to talk to you and sell you that land back. So Yorkshire and the land surrounding London. So I can get un-overextended. It's not like we trust you to have all the land over here, but economic. Wait until the 22nd. We've already lost our core on Calais. Uh, covert actions, fabricate claim on Calais. Just keep doing that. Keep them up to date, please. Sell province, Yorkshire. 
13 gold, please, for Yorkshire. That's all it's worth, apparently. <laughs> uh, but me getting unoverextended is worth more. If you look at the moment... 34% overextended. This gives us 1.3 national unrest. Yeah, if, oh, it gives us 1.7 national unrest. Once we got rid of that, then our base national unrest is zero. And I'm not having to spend the admin points. When can I talk to you again? When can I talk to you again? Yeah, that didn't fit. 23rd. Sell province. Kent. Kentish countryside. We can get 11 for Kent. That's good with me. <laughs> Whatever your monthly income is, basically we're taking it from you in order to do this. It's basically everything south of Norfolk and Glamorgan. It's fine with me. So Wessex will be next. Not English Channel. Although we do dominate that now, apparently. Uh, sell the province. I haven't done this as quick as I could do now. You must have taken out a loan. Fine with me. Take out more loans, please, for the love of God. We've won besieging you, Threk, that's fine. First of June, I think we have to wait to the second, though. Sell province, you. You won't give me 200, which is apparently the going rate. You will give me 60. I don't even know why I'm trying to farm out these little bits of money from you, because it's just really not important. Death of a merchant. See, that gives me a lot more. <laughs> Keep going. It's a bit early. I guess I might save him monthly. That probably needs to be turned down. Damn it. One day too long. So, province, Oxfordshire. Have that much money this time, did you, Great Britain? Essex is the last one. And I'll no longer be overextended. We have too many diplomatic relations. It's fine. To be honest, we could get rid of Prussia to deal with that, but I don't really care. Reasonably curious what happened to their protectorates. Don't not give subsidies. Sell a province. Essex. No Essex by me. This one you get free. Okay, so actually, we came out of this war, and we now have less land than what we did have. But a lot more land if we look at the... Diplomat mode. You guys come home. And I've actually got some protection. I would think. Actually, you know, come via here. Right, you are Western Vuditon. Transporting by this guy. Why can't I pick? Whatever it is, just go there. I don't know the logic in that. It annoys me. Right, you. Offer alliance. Why not? Prussia's opinion of the Netherlands. And they're outraged towards me. It's fine. If I get attacked by a Catholic, you've got to protect me. <laughs> and being that you're the only... Of a Protestant power, really. That isn't, like, directly under me. Oh, no, wait. 
some little Protestant nations have appeared as well. And Ireland. I forget about Ireland, always. You will protect me. Uh, let's keep... Spreading you guys out. Small armies, anyway. Well, everyone, really. There's ten left. You're actually a full army. You're about 17 stack. Spread out. Once you spread out, I can sort of figure out what's going on with you. We need how many troops? We gain 4,000 a month. We need 100... <laughs> so at least three years. Three years just to reinforce the army that we have. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> 